Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to you all in this channel, Poultry World with Dr. Azhar. Today, I will discuss a very important technique in the poultry business. It's artificial insemination in the poultry. It's a very useful tool for the commercial poultry and poultry R&D. There are the two ways by which poultry insemination is done. One is the bore and drop method. It's a very old method and not much popular because of the contaminations and very slow. Second one is artificial insemination with the volumetric gun. I will discuss in this video about this new technology. It's very latest technology, very comfortable, hygienic, more hygienic and very fast and commercially it is used in grandparents, in the parents and all the research birds. In this technique, the volumetric gun is the basic uh, tool which, uh, which is very important. This is the volumetric gun and this is uh, from IMV uh, technology, France. And this is used the, uh, with a disposable straw. Uh, 13 females are done with a one straw. And I will tell uh, in my coming slides and uh, pictures and I will uh, try to brief this process one by one. Artificial insemination in poultry. Artificial insemination is the deposition of the semel in the reproductive tract of the females by or any other means than the normal mating. History of the AI can be seen in this slide. You can take a picture of this slide for your memory. Excellent work here done by the Russian scientist. The process of artificial insemination includes preparation of the male, preparation of the equipment, collection of the semen from the males, dilution of the semen, and deposition of the semen in the vent of the female. Here we are discussing the artificial insemination of the poultry on the floor. It's a very astonishing for the European guys. They are not familiar with the artificial insemination on the floor. They just do in the cages. It's very interesting. Here you will see in the coming slide that the male and the female both are on the floor. For the preparation of the male, we keep males in the individual cages individual cage with a 45 centimeter wide, 60 centimeter deep and 60 centimeter high. You can see the males are kept in individual cages for the preparation and they are, they are ready to donate the semen. Preparation of the equipments. Equipments should be clean and autoclave and should be made sterilized like volumetric gun can be sterilized and all the other items are used disposable hygienic process should be done collection of the semen from the male all this process is called milking and the person who is doing this process is called milker normally we need two to three per three person for the, this process one is the milker one other is the collecting semen and one is transporting male or holding me. You can see in this slide the graduated uh, tube and guileless catheter is the uh, equipment which is used to collect the semen. You can see more clearly this uh, apparatus, the gallus catheter, and this is this process is called massage method. Evaluation of the semen and selection of the male is very important. Semen is evaluated by spermatozoan count and physically by the 
pH by its color and the viscosity and mill is observed by the production of its volume and the quality of the semen. As the actual volume of the semen is very minute to deposit, that's why the dilution of the semen is very compulsory. It can be diluted with a ratio 1-2 or ratio 1-4. The process of opening the vent of the female is called breaching and the person who is opening the vent is called breacher. Yes, in this slide you can see clearly the breaching. Yes, in this picture it's very clearly seen. It's a good picture showing yes. the dissemination on the floor. This is the clear slide is showing the dissemination of the volumetric gun. You can and see three catcher behind, behind and the one in the center is disseminating very quickly. Up to three centimeter in the vent. Precautions are very important. Don't inseminate the females during the laying period. Means we should start the AI after 2 p.m. Secondly, all the equipment should be sterilized. No germs, no transfer of bacteria. It's very com uh, compulsory. And secondly, the male should be milked two times a week. It's good for the good fertility. Here is the composition of one artificial insemination team. There are three breachers, three catchers and one inseminator. This team can do 10,000 female in four, three to four hours. In, in Pakistan, grandparents and the parents artificial insemination done even up to 100,000 birds. Thank you. Stay connected to share knowledge. Allah Hafiz.